So in this video, I'm going to take you to all five artifacts that were released in early access of Sons of the Forest. The sixth artifact will be released February 22nd of 24 when the full game version 1.0 releases. So the first artifact is in Cave A or the Rebreather Cave and this was released in patch 11. I'm going to list the five artifacts of early access in patch order. So like mentioned before, this was update 11 that it was added to Cave A. And Cave A is an easy cave to navigate. But on some of the harder cave systems, I will throw some useful links for you guys. Also, I would like to mention for you guys that use console commands, I will link a video using the go-to coordinates for each of these five artifacts. So if you just want to use console commands and go straight to the artifacts themselves, um, but we'll list that as a link in this video. The second artifact was added in patch 12. This is in the cave F system. It has an entrance and an exit. So the entrance has a rope that you must climb down and the exit is like any other cave system. So they are easy to distinguish between the two. And I will put a link to this cave system. It's not too hard, but there is an order that you probably would like to use whenever going through this system because it does have a spot that you will slide down and of course you cannot get back up but anyways this cave will have the second artifact it will also have the item plater blueprint and a pickaxe that you can use to mine solophyte so like I said I will include a link that will take you to all those and work your way to the exit
So for the third and fourth artifact, these were added in patch 13. First up, we have Cave D. Now this cave is a pain in the ass. I'll definitely include a link that shows you how to get entrance to exit. It'll also show you where all the loot is because you don't want to have to come back in this. And the entrance I'm considering where we just entered it at on the big lake on the south side of the island. And you will notice I have torches in this video. Now this was filmed before patch 15. In Night did add some lighting to guide the players after patch 15. So it will be a little bit easier for you. But in my video, like I mentioned, I placed these torches myself to light up the cave a little bit better for you. So in this video, like I said, I'm just going straight to the third artifact and then I will show you the fourth artifact in just a minute.
Now for the fourth artifact, and this is in Cave B, or the Rope Gun Cave, and this was also added in patch 13, and this cave is easy to navigate, so no link required.
Now for the fifth and final artifact of early access. And this is Cave G. This was added in the patch 14. And this cave system is easy to navigate, so no link will be given. But that shall conclude my commentary. I would like to mention, uh, if you want those console commands, the coordinates, uh, check for the link to that video. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking. That's it for this one. As always, thank you for watching and hope to catch you in the next video. Ugh. <sighs>